Um, do you do you know the Gen Z videos? Have you seen the two different Gen Z videos? Dear Jordan, your dad is a great. Okay, here this is. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right? When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. Right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is <laughs> older than me. That's, That's crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't believe that. I'm going to be honest. You get what I'm saying right now? There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, times were way more difficult back when we were kids. Am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm saying is so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> this guy was great in Westworld. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright, dude. Dude, I don't get it. Like, so <laughs> why is he? Why is he? 26 but so it old it has been quite an interesting couple of days for jordan uh, come here so a few days ago i was explaining to everybody how gen z is aging rapidly while millennials are looking younger for their age and i was saying it's because of stress the best example being i'm gen z right and, and people don't believe that how, how i tell people zendaya is older than me my mom uh, gets mistaken as my what do you think it is because like i'm 32 and the reality is like i think i look 32 right it's got to be the beard right you look 50 i mean i'm i am 32 years old and i think i look like i'm 32 years old i feel like maybe maybe it's because like gen z has just been like someone in the chat was saying like um they've been ripping jewels for a long time is that what it is you look anywhere from 27 to 40 wait what you think i look 40 years old okay shut the fuck up chat jesus christ I'm 21, but people have thought I'm mid to late 20s, way before I was even 20. Also, I don't, and I've never smoked. You don't have to skirt around it. It's because of their excessive mewing. You look 30. I think I look 32. If I shave the mustache, then I'll look even younger. But with the weird beard and the white patch you have on the sides, you look 36, 38. Wait, what? Really? When I have the beard, I look 36 or 38. I'm never growing the beard out ever again. What the fuck? Younger sister and Dwayne The Rock Johnson thought we were the same age Dwayne's 52 but what i'm saying is um after that i didn't think much of it until a very popular page uh, called the shade room was like hey can we share your story and i was like sure not, not a problem i didn't think much of it until later i saw the title of it and it was labeled gen z is aging like milk come here um it was a lot it was a lot going on and then after that um a really popular uh news show wanted me to be on for an interview to quote explain what's going on with this situation i still have yet to respond to that there was a few other comments so these are some of the comments that i thought were very funny when i read it um i heard that i was aging like a pack of saltine crackers aging um, at the speed of white aging at the speed of white dude no 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 you're saying it's literally a one guy moment, but I saw a bunch of other girls too who were like posting up talking about how like someone thought that she was like in her 30s when she's like 22 years old. And I straight up thought she was in her 30s. There's something going on. I think like, I don't think like millennials look young by any means. I think millennials just look their age for the most part. But I feel like, um, I feel like, I, I don't know. It might be the, it might be the, I stand by his, by this conversation being headed by millennial cope they don't look younger they just wish they did and it's confirmation bias past that no i think that there isn't i think it's a makeup maybe and the way that people uh the way that people carry themselves it could also be like having access to the internet uh early on and like following fashion trends because i feel like that definitely does like, like that that's a big part of the way you look like what your output is so I think that's probably what it is for the most part. Um, it's split into two categories of what's in the water, super pretty, and the other water is the beach that makes you old. Personally, I got the good water. I mean, yeah, this it reminds me of this guy, right? I mean, but this is, 
I mean, this guy is like a phenomena though. Like he, this is a one-off type situation. The 16 year old that won the dart, uh, not, he didn't win, but like he was, you know, he was cooking in the dart competition. He's 16, bro. This guy, 16. To achieve. Yeah, it is. But I think he might be up to it. That guy is 16. Crockpot theory, I think everyone looked at. Gen Z is the newest generation of preteens, teenagers at the start of the pandemic, and during the pandemic, time kind of melted. So we all think Gen Z are teens, but some are now late 20s. That could be it, certainly. Who's the original TikTok? Not a prank, I promise. I oh, this one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Tonight, I was on live with my boyfriend, and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. Like, she does I not, like, I years. would not have thought that she's 23 years old. I don't think she looks like early 30s, but she definitely looks like she's like 27, 28. And I think it has a lot to do with hairstyles and I also makeup. Of people talking about how Gen Z looks way older than they actually are. They look old for their age. And I just saw one saying that millennials look young for their age. And it's funny that this is a topic of conversation now because a couple of years ago, probably like five years ago, I went to Target with my younger sister. She's Gen Z. She's 10. Yeah, I think, I think it's 100%. I think it's 100% hairstyle, makeup, and clothes. I think that's a big part of it because you take anyone that, like, you take that girl that we just saw in the in the TikTok, right? I was humbled. You take this girl, different hairstyle, different makeup. I mean, she can look her age. The reason why I wanted to cover it is because how Gen Z looks so much older than they are, and they don't understand why. Yes, today. I'm I don't think they're like, I don't think Gen Z is aging at a rapid rate. I think it's more so just like hairstyle and maybe, maybe smoking. I want to talk about what appears to be the accelerated aging of Gen Z and Gen Alpha and why I think those things are happening. But I have to disagree with this original creator. I hate to say it, but it isn't because of vapes. Because if you look at the stats, people historically have actually used more nicotine products than teenagers in recent years. Here we see nicotine and tobacco stats that the CDC reported in the 90s, which I compiled into a convenient little graph for you to look at. But as you can see, they kind of sat around 30%. And the average vape user for high schoolers is reported at about 25%, which is really sad considering we had downward trends until vaping was invented around this time off of the graph. But overall, if the stats are lower than historic years past, we cannot blame the aging directly on increased use when there isn't increased use. There are two things though that I think we could tie to the accelerated aging issue and this is like the death of the pre-tween or the tween years. I remember when I was growing up the tween years which roughly fell between like 10 and 13 were huge. Like we had entire stores dedicated to them you know we had limited two which became justice. We had all those specifically directed towards tween stores that encouraged kids to still kind of remain kids around that time period. Nowadays there aren't really stores built for tweens and the ones that we do have remaining are seen kind of as embarrassing if you shop there. And I especially saw this a lot with- I also think their knowledge makes them seem older. My kids know way more about the world than I did. I think that's the other thing I was gonna say is that because Gen Z is like the first generation to be like born into uh, complete internet access, from a super early age, you have uh, just an unlimited amount of information that you can just search at the tip of your fingers. I'll be honest, I didn't know shit when I was like 18, 19, dude. Even then, like I had internet, but I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like I, I even then I was like barely, <laughs> barely coherent, barely cognizant. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Whereas I feel like an 18, 19 year old now knows so much more than I did back then. Now you just have so much more information that you're being pumped with on a daily fucking basis. So I don't know. With the Gen Alpha kids like in my family and the ones that I nannied. The second they start approaching middle school around that like 10 to 11 age, they want Abercrombie, they want Lululemon, they want all of the adult clothes. But I think an even bigger problem on this issue is that all of a sudden society is pressuring new kinds of Botox, injectable. Oh yeah, like preventative botox like i like there's there's gen zer actors and shit in the gym that i work out at and they fucking talk about like preventative botox they know all the treatments and so i'm like bro what are you talking about like 
I, I don't even understand. Like, what the fuck? All what the fuck is a preventative Botox? Plastic surgery on even younger people than ever before. And because a lot of these procedures are brand new, we don't have a lot of data for how they hold up over time. But I have suspicions that it's not going to go well. And we're already starting to see this in these unedited photos of celebrities that have been coming out who have really been leaning into these surgeries. And a specific one that's become really popular in the last few years is this Busel fat removal. I don't know if I'm saying that. Okay, I don't think I don't think fucking Gen Zers are getting their buckle fat removed. Let's be real. Come on now. I don't think that's going on. Shin liposuction soars among Gen Z. The internet is super fucking brutal. Oh my god. I don't know. Maybe it's like your takes are dated. Maybe it's um this is like the classic. When I was a fucking when I was in my like early 20s, everything was like millennial this, millennial that. Millennials killed this, millennials killed that. And I feel like that's that that's what's going on for Gen Z now. Anyway, the point I was going to say, though, is like, I think looks maxing is an early, like not an early internet forum thing, but like a looks maxing is a concept where like people, I guess, do stuff to change the way that they look, specifically their facial structure. And uh, it's it's got concepts like mewing and, you know, which is your tongue placement in your mouth and things of that nature. And I feel like that kind of stuff back in the day was relegated to the darkest corners of the internet, right? That kind of stuff was uh, basically shit that you would only find in like the black pill incel forums, like red pill incel forums, right? And now it is readily available and super accessible on TikTok. And I think that there are a lot of people on TikTok that promote that kind of stuff, that promote like the Patrick Bateman lifestyle, and things of that nature. And I feel like a lot of people uh, see that kind of thing online and want to uh, want to mimic it. It's one, really bad brain rot. And two, that probably ages you a little bit too, I think. Like this guy, yeah, like that guy. <laughs> look gross. 